Hey everybody, Kit the Solus here, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Let's see. Open the safe. rifle. Not going to need that for the moment. Might need the cowboy repeater in her on the road. Peril. Pop into the refrigerator here. Absinthe. And meat. And nectar. And yeah, I know. Riveting gameplay, huh? Sarsaparilla, vodka, whiskey, horse nettles. Let's put some other stuff in here too, like <clears throat> weapon repair kits and my stealth boys. I think I'll use this one for ammo. I think I'm going to drop the cowboy repeater for now. You guys will understand why later. So what mission am I on? Oh, they went that away. And I do apologize in advance for this, but it's breakfast time.
And actually, right now, it's technically lunchtime. So. Let's, uh, let's come out here, shall we? from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. Oh, I tend to my ranch. That's about it. Alice will tell you, I don't get out huh. a whole lot. You must what mean what's story? left of it. Somebody's been attacking our animals at night. We're down to less than half of what we had a few weeks back. Damn. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. Weird. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move Nobark. on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. All right. So long. Let's see. Again, I do apologize for eating on feed, but uh, blood sugar is a little bit low, or was a little bit low, so I'm making sure I got something in my system to keep it going, going up rather. Let's see what they've got in the store, shall we? How you doing? Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. The hell? Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Let's see. Do you sell guns? Guns? I, uh, well, yeah, I guess I might have a few. Darn it, no one ever buys the T-Rexes. They're scale replicas of the real thing. Very detailed. Got a liquid in them that makes them glow. From what I hear, Repcon used to give them out on tours of their HQ up in Henderson. But I guess they had to stop after the first few kids thought they were filled with Nuka-Cola and drank it down. The papers had a name for the condition and everything. They called it the Repcon Shakes. Those were bad times for Robco. How the hell did they end up here? Well, they unloaded what they had left on the Dino Bite as a tax write-off, but that was before my time. Plenty of demand for them, seeing as how they're one-of-a-kind collector's items, but I might still have some in back. Sure thing. Let's see what this Have will ask for sale, shall we? Uh, 
Hunting shotgun choke. <laughs> Armored rifle night scope. Too bad I don't need that anymore. I think that'll be about all. Come back soon now. Wish you had an I wish you had some uh, armor piercing rounds, honestly. Last one, I promise. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Well, he might have been wearing a fancy outfit, but he wasn't any kind of gentleman to me. Had his nose stuck so high in the air you couldn't see it above the clouds. City folk. They always think they deserve better than what they got. Those hoodlums he was with seemed to know Manny for some reason. He's our daytime sniper, up in the dinosaur's mouth. Okay. Watch out for strangers. Daytime Sniper. What's going on, man? Manny Varga. Manny Vargas. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Doesn't surprise me. The guy seems like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need oh, my help. Lord. There's something I need, too. Novak, need... it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They don't have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there yeah. now. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. Doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the <laughs> ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. Okay. See It'd mean a lot do, to me. Yeah, see ya. I oh that hurt. Oh no it didn't. Yay. I'm gonna sleep until just before dark. Well actually a little after dark, I guess. Oh. 
There we are. Y'all heard that, right? Quickly pair of fruits. Where the hell? Come on, die. Screams of Brom. Let's see. Here's a, most of what is recorded here is a mess of incomprehensible psychotic gibberish. It seems to uh, express a general frustration towards a set of Brahmin who are allegedly keeping the author awake at night by screaming inside his head whenever he closes his eyes. Yeah, that is a little fucking disturbing.
Memory serves. They're night sniper. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why maybe are you it here? Been. Yeah, well, you see anybody wearing Legion Crimson or a lot of sports equipment, you just let me know. You still haven't answered my question. Huh. Wanted to check I out the view. I think you better leave. <laughs> I don't have friends here. Well, I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion <laughs> slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. You're gonna track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Uh, what if I do find the person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. <clears throat> It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. I'll see what I can do to help you out. Good. I'll make it worth your while. And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. Oh. I know, all right. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Right. Let's go back up and head out till uh, get ready and hey, uh, by day, shall we? <clears throat> we'll do this during the day. Woof. No bark shack. Trying to get through this area without tipping over a bottle. Careful. They got spies all over. Who no sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Confounded, no bark. You've done it again. You let on that you know things. <laughs> now they'll never let you be. All right, stranger, you got me. What do you want to know? Seen it all. Life. 
seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby, too, for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the john, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal <laughs> young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folk's long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. If anyone asked, okay. we never spoke. Yep. You're just a little crazy, aren't you? That was a little too easy to get out of there like that. Hmm. Poor thing. Sold into slavery by the... Ah, uh, what are they called? I hope you're finding everything to your liking. How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Huh. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was huh. thinking about it ever <clears throat> since they arrived. <coughs> Watch out for strangers. Let's just wait for a spell, shall we? Oh, all this waiting. Hey there. Out you go. There we go. Gauge round. Nice gauge round. Bottle caps. A shotgun. Bill of sale. Anyways, we the representatives of the, of the Consul Officer, Consul Officorium, have this day bargained and purchased from Jenny May Croft. And those of her unborn children for the sum of 500 bottle caps. Or her unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle caps. 
Your seat whereof is hereby acknowledged. We will warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and slaves for life. We covenant with we covenant with the said Crawford. We have full power to bargain and sell said slave and her offspring payment for an additional 500 bottle caps will be due pending successful maturation of the fetus, the claim to which she'll be guarded by possession of this document. Okay. Hey there. Oh. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. <sighs> Okay, if that's what you think. So, hey guys. This is funny. And this is going to suck too, because uh, I'm going to need to go repair that hat. Stand here and watch. Pat. <laughs> you know what? Just because I can, let's take her safe key. Button call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. What are you doing? Don't rightly back, know. Man? I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose, but between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin start to itch. Watch yourself. Uh. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Oh. Uh. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Be seeing you. Later, man. Let's go talk to Boone, shall we? This guy's got a powerful ass weapon, too. Memory serves he has a sniper. An actual sniper. Welcome. Come on in. He's usually the first, uh. First dude I usually get. That's it then. How did you know? Uh, the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. With me, let's go after the legion. You don't want to do that. Snipers work in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Oh.
There we go. Hey, folks. Look at me now. Look like a weird old man. Oof. How you doing? I see you guys. Let's uh Open Fine by me. His sniper rifle is a really fucking powerful one too. Is out. Okay. So let's see which uh, quest we've got. We've got Come Fly With Me. Let's hit Come Fly With Me, shall we? Okay. There's a dead ghoul. Ain't they pretty? All mine. Can't run from me. Oh, oh come on. Bottle caps off of him. Nothing I need on him. I need on him. Mentats and cat eye, nice. Ignition box. And we're fueling 12 gauge rounds. Anyways. Hey, stealth boy. Uh. 
get FedEx. Scrap metal pressure cooker. More scrap metal. empty. I think I'll leave the bottle caps there. Open a footlock. Fission battery and knife. Those. There we go. Four grenades. Those ones are always a bitch to get to. And up here we go. Magnum rounds, energy cells, dead ghoul. But yeah. Anyways, folks. <clears throat> We're going to end this particular episode here. So. Uh, if you enjoy the gameplay or the commentary, give us a like. If you want to help this channel to grow, share us with your friends. And if you want to keep up with this series or this uh, channel in general, hit subscribe. But for now, this is Kit the Solus signing off. Later, everybody.